Hey folks, what's there? Welcome back to another Poem Masses video, and uh, today we're going to go over Lana and Arachnid for the uh, very few people out there who have one. Uh, but anyways, it's shout out to, you know, if you guys just um, summon for Arachnid, I, I, I do have much respect for people who just summon for, you know, whatever unit they like, their favorite units, instead of uh, what the banner rates are, or, or, you know, which is the strongest, whatever, uh, but yeah. Much, much respect for people who actually did go for that. Although, again, a lot of big banners potentially coming soon. <laughs> Plus, the ones that are up right now. So, uh, but, anyways, let's get into this, right? So, Land Arachnid, um, it's, it's a really interesting unit because, like, well, okay, it's not an interesting unit, but, like, the, 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 the situation where it's in, in is, is kind of interesting. It's, it just, um, the thing about like Lana Arachnid, it's it's a unit, it's a support that kind of struggles to like find a a, a place for her on the team. All right, so you have to sort of actively seek out opportunities to put her in places to succeed. Right, so um, yeah, it's just, it's just due, due to her like kit, right, not being super, uh, uh, you know, aggressive as a support. Um, because your, like, big support move is plus, you use three slots of move, move gauge, which honestly isn't that big of an issue. At the beginning of the games, you don't really, you know, or beginning of battles, you don't really use move gauge anyways, it's just mostly, you're just using trainer moves, all that stuff to, to buff your stats, all that stuff, so, like, I don't think the move gauge thing is, is an issue here. Uh, but it buffs your team's attack and defense up by four, and then gives your whole team gradual heals, uh, which these are good buffs. Right, but they're not. They're not uh, like anything like super like uh, super hard to obtain, right? Outside of Lana, uh, and then the other thing that she does is leech life tank, right, to stay alive on top of having wide guard against AOE moves. So there are certain situations like it, like she's a very 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 situational unit. So you also have like group fire guard, group water guard. So like the situation where you want to put her in is against um, units who have uh, or use fire water type moves. That's again where she does the best as a tank, and where the opponent hopefully or, you know is uses physical moves as well because also you also buff defense. Um, that's on the defensive end, and on the offensive end you have to make sure you're on a team that has. Uh, enough move gauge uh, control, right? Because again, you are very, very, very slow with 129 or 130 stats, but very, very, very slow speed, right? So uh, offensively, you want to be on a team that's fast enough, and defensively, you want to um, make sure you utilize her kit, fight against water, fire uh, opponents, and um, it would be much better if it's against physical opponents as well, right? Um, and also, you want to pair it with um, a physical uh, f uh, physical damage healers because you're buffing attack, right? So, anyways, uh, let's first talk about the uh, the grid and lucky skill. So, first of all, for 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 lucky skill, you don't really need vigilance since you have vigilance on the grid. Although you could still roll vigilance because you know there are people who do like to roll for um, for skills that they already have on the grid just to like save energy on the grid. But I'm not a huge proponent of that. I'm not a huge fan of that because like <clears throat> vigilance goes to like racing rain anyways. Which a lot of times you probably would want to run her on rain teams because she has a lot of you know good um rain uh rain nodes right you got rain gear one which gives you damage reduction in rain you got refreshing rain healing rain and you got racing rain which helps your speed immensely and vigilance obviously you go through obviously you could also go through the sink plus five but I personally think if you're a tank vigilance go through vigilance will be a bit better right um plus like you have to pick up all the stuff here anyways right so. Um, yeah, that, uh, again, Vigilance is an option, but although, again, I'm not a huge fan of going for Vigilance, but as for some other stuff, um, you could maybe go Fast Track, right? Fast Track to, you know, buff your help with your speed issue. Uh, I do think Fast Track is, is definitely a, um, a, a, a nice one to go for. Another one would be Crit Strike 2, and if you're wondering what the heck Crit Strike 2, well, it's mainly so you could deal more damage. On your leech lives so the more damage you deal on those the more you heal back although that does require you to bring another crit buffer because 
Lana does not buff anyone's crit, right? So you do need something to help buff Lana's crit, um, unfortunately. So you'll have to run like a, you run Lana's a tank, you'll get another crit buffer and then the damage healer. So in those case scenarios, uh, you're leaving out um, a spot for weather, leave, weather terrain, and then you're leaving out a spot for either a second damage healer or something, right? Which again, does kind of limit the offensive capabilities of the team, but that would be really great defensively because usually, you know, the supports are generally tanky, right? So if you bring another one, um, it won't hinder your um, defenses. And also again, Lana is a very good tank um, in, in most case scenarios, right? So uh, yeah, those are probably the options that you want to, like you can also go for like the type guard, whatever, throw in like another guard in here, right? If you want. Um, maybe defense crush right lower the opponent's defenses so your uh physical damage healer could do more damage although again i'm not a huge fan of um <clears throat> that over say like because i don't think it's going to be like, like as relevant as something or useful as something like a fa again a fast track or, or or something like that right uh but anyways let's go into the grid so starting out one out of five one out of five you basically the same stuff, right? Um, you should be able to reach most things here. Uh, okay, so you don't pick up any leech. Well, I guess no point picking up the special attack up. You could pick up an extra leech life here, right? Um, and if you want, you could drop another one of these defensive nodes, pick up a second leech life, so you do more damage, so you heal back more, right? So that's basically one out of five again. Very, very simple. Nothing too uh, complicated here. So 2 out of 5, um, there are different ways to run this. Because you do have like a lot of your rain stuff. You don't have racing rain, unfortunately. But you do have refreshing rain and rain gear. So if you want to run like uh, run Lana on a rain team, you could definitely do that. Right? You could do something like this. Um, I take the attack over, special attack over here. And uh, depending on how you want to do this, right? Because you could also pick up Catalytic Cure. If you're using Leech Life... You could pick up leech life of gauge refresh if you're not, if, and if you if you just don't have enough speed and you can only spam water gun, because if you are spamming water gun, right? Um, since you have propelling strike nine, it's basically it's kind of sort of like a, a no cost move, right? Because it's one gauge move, you get one gauge back. Well, it's not exactly like that, but you know, kind of like that. So you could pick up move gauge refresh to you know further help that, right? Um, or if you you know if you're fine with speed generally, um, you could come down here pick up either one of unbending or, or stalwart right um to help with uh with with the um you know if there's any opponents that that debuff your defenses uh unbending if it's physical defense stalwart if it's uh special defense right um if you're not picking up water gun uh, uh move gauge refresh or any move gauge refresh you can pick up all these but again i do think speed is a bit more of a primary issue than defenses here right so again either leech life or water gun right if you pick up uh a leech life you could pick up unbending if you don't need unbending uh then then you could maybe pick up some power ups for leech life so again do a bit more damage on leech life so we heal a bit more back right so anyways um if you're running a non-rain grid right i'd still probably come over here pick a vigilance and pick up again the leech life stuff again it's just it just really depends right just all this stuff um if you're going to use wide guard then you could maybe block and charge but it's just like i'm not a huge fan because it's like it's 10 energy for plus one gauge because <laughs> you only have one mp right especially at two out of five since you don't have mp refresh um wide guard one mp 10 energy just to guarantee uh, again guarantee getting one move gauge back is nice but like 10 energy for one <laughs> move gauge i don't know about that right um, but she does have like a lot of speed nodes over here that you could definitely pick up. Um, again, if you want to, you know, heal a bit more, you could pick up leech life power ups. If you're fine with that, then you could pick up like some of these speed, uh, speed, um, speed nodes, right, and stuff. So, so something like this would probably work. Uh, but yeah. anyways, moving on to three out of five here. So three out of five, um, you do get racing rain here, which is fantastic, right? You want racing rain. Um, if you're good on defenses maybe you don't have to pick up you know rain gear especially if you're again facing something like a a fire or or, or water type attacker right you, you don't really have to worry too much about 
Um, but some other options you could pick up at 3 out of 5. You could maybe, you know, you could pick up Catalytic here, then Tough Cookie. Which in this case, Tough Cookie, you do get a free plus 4 defense from your training move. Um, which, you know, giving you plus 4 defense uh, does give you extra damage, right, on your leash life. Which extra damage on your leash life means the more HP you heal back, right? Um, but maybe you could also just pick up, instead of Tough Cookie, just pick up Ring Gear instead. It it's a ten percent reduction, which isn't like the biggest deal in the world, but it's something, right? Um, and I'm personally not a huge fan of HP trade off, because usually you know Atlanta is a very 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 good tank. I don't think you should be in too much HP issues unless you're just, you know, unless you're running mass mode with like all the offensive parameters. But then again, if you are trying to like hyper offense like Russia mass mode stage, Lana probably wouldn't be the unit you want to choose. <laughs> for support right um personally i wouldn't go for any of these again way like you're going in way too deep just for like a one move gauge refresh for like nine energy cost i wouldn't go for any of these um on the uh bottom left corner some some people might say oh well, maybe crit strike one no i i really wouldn't um that also requires you to run a dedicated crit support for like lana as well right because like when you're running lana you generally want to run lana with a damage hero that it already has um crit built in right um into their kit so not have to worry too much about that and um yeah as for the rest of these you could uh you could again you could pick up and bending if you need that if you need solver you could do that as well except you do have to sacrifice um a node here right um which maybe you just can't pick up catalytic cure in that case and you just go like rain gear instead uh catalytic cure is isn't like the biggest deal in the world either i don't think all right, so if you don't pick that up, not a big deal, um, because it's it's twenty percent. Although it does heal a lot, right? It does heal a lot, but it's like, mm, right? Um, but I do, I personally do like how to cure though. I do like how to cure. Um, but yeah, some other options if you're not running it in rain. Uh, first of all, good luck with your speed. Uh, but if you're not running in rain, that's fine too. Right? Then you just lose up a lot of energy for a lot of other different options. Um. Again, the bending stuff here, you could pick up Wide Guard MP Refresh if you really, really need it, right? Uh, for one of these, again. Uh, I think you should be able to afford... Ah, oh, no, you can't. Oh, well. Um, yeah, 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 you can pick it up. But, yeah, something like this, maybe. Again, if you need unbending. If you don't need unbending, then you don't need unbending. <laughs> right? If you don't need that, you can just pick up some other things. Um, just some stat nodes if you want. Uh, I think we pick, yeah, I can't pick up that speed node, unfortunately. Um, maybe block and heal since you are picking up the MP refresh, I guess. Right, because I do think healing is slightly better than giving one gauge back. Even though, again, you do suffer a bit more from gauge than, than heals. But usually, if you are using wide guard, it's usually um, in, in mass mode, right? If you're using wide guard in mass mode, it's usually late game when you already taken out the mid and then... Um, the sides are spamming AOE moves, which in that case, late game, obviously, you would have generally lesser HP, right? So, yeah, again, there are different ways to build this. Although I'm not a huge fan of wide guard MP refresh. Um, you know, wide guard's like fine, but like, again, wide guard is just, it's base, it's a late game move, right? You can't use it early game. Uh, well, you can, but like, ugh, the downsides are just really bad, right? Um, and you do have to be very predictable. Like, you have to fight stages that are very predictable, right? If you're fighting, like, a stage that's not very predictable, that doesn't, you know, that isn't scripted, um, and you don't know when the opponent's going to use an, his an AoE move, and then you click it and the opponent doesn't use AoE moves, you could potentially be wasting multiple turns of sync move countdown with that, which uh, greatly hinders your offense, which is already hindered by running land in the first place, right? So, yeah, there's that, I guess, right? Um, anyways... Uh, in terms of team comps, honestly, as a support, there's just a lot of things that you could do, right? You could run something like this for Rain um, to max out, you know, Grimsley's attack. Then Grimsley could all it needs to do is sink or swim once, then X attack once, they could start attacking, right? Um, Kyogre obviously brings in the Rain, which helps with all your Rain stuff. Uh, none of these are that great defensively. Kyogre also gives you extra special defense uh, or, or, or special attack reduction, which further helps you tanking, right? So this this team could make um, could, could make Lan into like a insane tank, right? Which is really, really nice because, again, 
this team would definitely need some tanking. But again, there's just a lot of options uh, and, and places where Lana could, you could put Lana in. Um, however, I would caution it's probably better just to pair it when you're looking for DPSs to pair Lana with. Um, two things you have to look for. One is speed. Uh, and one is do they have crit buffs themselves obviously it doesn't have to have crit buffs you could always run a secondary crit support but then usually that time you know if you are doing that you are hindering your offenses quite a bit so i wouldn't really do that <laughs> but uh but yeah just try to look for units that don't have um or, or, or that that don't that can't max out their attack but can you know max out their crit and all that stuff that would probably work well with lana right so um most time lana is more so it's not like what your team needs it's more so what you're facing right um so it's more important which stage you're attacking with rather than what team you're trying to fit her in right so um that goes back to what i was talking about early uh earlier in the video in terms of like finding um putting lana and finding lana uh, or finding situations to make her succeed right so anyways that's for me this one, I guess. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me guys in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for some more of my content. I'll see you guys in the next one.